Making and receiving calls on PC and Android has been a thing for a while, but what if you want direct access to your phone from your PC? Here's how to do it. Alright, so first up you gotta go to your about phone and tap the build number 5 or 7 times to unlock developer options. Once you unlock the developer options, just enable USB debugging after entering through system and then developer options. Now connect phone via USB to your PC and install this app. The link is in the description down below. It's called screen copy or SCRCPY. Just download it, open the zip file, just extract to the folder. I'm extracting to desktop. Technically you could save it anywhere you like, but just for simplicity, I'm choosing desktop. Click on always allow on your phone. This will make it seamless next time you use this PC and phone combo. It will work without any prompt. Open screen copy again and bam. Would you look at that? Full 1080p high bitrate screen on your PC. That's with the USB cable of course, but what if you wanted to do it wirelessly? Open the console by clicking here. Make sure your phone is connected via USB. You only need to do this once. Type in SCR copy space hyphen hyphen TCP IP. This will enable wireless debugging on your phone. Click always allow on your phone to allow wireless debugging on that network. Now it should be connected wirelessly as well. To connect after the fact or after a restart, all you need to do is open the console, type scrcpy space hyphen hyphen tcp IP and your IP address, which you can find in the status section of your Wi-Fi or your phone. You can easily create a batch file with Notepad if you would like to automate this process. Let me know in the comments down below and I can make one sample batch file for your convenience. Now let's look at how to use it. Although there is a lack of back and home button because of the gesture navigation, it's still pretty usable. You can use your right click to go back, middle click for home button and if you have a modern mouse with a back button that will trigger the app switcher which should improve navigation and multitasking experience around your phone and make it feel snappy and intuitive. You just have to launch the app to connect via USB and you can use your phone like normal and maybe send messages using your full size keyboard, access Google Fit, which was discontinued on web interface on PC. So yeah, just set it to full screen and start using your phone on a larger display with a mouse and keyboard when you're working. You can also use it to type emails. So let's just quickly jump onto Gmail. I can action these emails easily, very convenient. So the app by default will follow the orientation of your phone. If landscape mode is available, you'll be able to utilize the larger screen real estate better. Else it will stick to portrait mode to let you use the portrait only apps such as Pixel Launcher, Instagram, etc. So some of you may be curious, can you play Android games on your PC without needing emulation. I'm gonna fire up Rocket League Sideswipe which is a demanding game. Keyboard input did not work, controller input did not work as well. So yeah, you're limited to games you can play with mouse and keyboard. The game isn't exactly running at 60 FPS on the PC but on the phone it's running fine. You can totally get away with a game like golf for example, something that is turn-based or text-based should be absolutely fine and it's not time sensitive such as, you know, Wordle, for example. For now, I'm gonna close out of the game. Let's see if we can type an email using our mouse and keyboard. So yeah, it is kind of fun to type on your phone using your PC keyboard. You feel like the hacker man. So that's it. The possibilities are unlimited on how you choose to use it, but it's as simple as plugging in your phone, opening this app and making sure that you always allow it. So it's seamless next time you plug it in. And yeah, you can watch DRM free streaming apps such as YouTube or get work done. It's up to you how you use it. Unfortunately, Netflix and similar apps don't work because of HDCP compliance issues. It plays fine on the phone, but just shows a black screen on the PC when you try to play. So you won't be able to watch copyrighted protected content on it, which is to be honest, fair enough, but you can jump on Reddit no worries and watch the memes let me know in the comments what you plan to use this for anyway guys thank you very much for watching smash that like button if 
this video helped you or you learned something new consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell if you want to watch more content like this thanks again very much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one cheers